Hey everyone, I'm Justin Fisher in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen. And we are, of course, joined by Chef Val from the OUTU School of Community Medicine. How are you doing today? Fine, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. We are talking today about one of my favorite comfort foods, and that is soup. Tell us a little bit about it. It's great this time of year, right? Everybody wants a nice warm bowl of yeah. soup. The thing with getting, we're making a creamy tomato soup, but think about tomato soup from the can, it's really so high in sodium. Okay, so we're gonna control that. Um, Keep it low. Yeah, we're gonna use all no salt or no salt added tomato products. And the other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use some low sodium vegetable juice. Really, okay. okay. Because it's packed with other vegetables besides tomatoes. And it also is really high in some nutrients you need like potassium. And it tastes good. Yes, and it tastes really good. So in our large pot already, we have carrot, celery, onion, so just a basic mirepoix with the addition mirepoix. of a little bit of garlic. Yes, that is just <laughs> a very basic and um, vegetable preparations, the base of many sauces and soups. So we have our bay leaves. I'm just gonna go ahead and take those out. And um, have a little bit of fresh thyme in the pot also, but you could use um, basil or oregano, and you could use a dried Italian blend, which is basically the Every combination kind of, your of those. Profile. Yeah. Okay, okay so, um, and then we have some t crushed tomatoes. And those are gonna go right in. We're not even halfway done here, and it smells amazing. And we are gonna also add some no salt, like I said, no salt added tomato paste. So a lot of times you have to use a dinner knife to get that right. all of the paste out of there. And we are gonna add some low sodium vegetable stock. And if you don't have the vegetable stock, you could definitely go for water on this. And that's gonna save you a little bit of sodium on that too. And after this stock goes in, the most important ingredient is gonna be this um, low sodium vegetable juice. Yeah, there's a lot of vegetables and there's a lot of health. Yes. Okay. And like you mentioned, it's a great comfort food. So we're gonna get this all added and then we're gonna bring it to a simmer. Okay. Okay, and when this is all incorporated, you could definitely eat it just like this. I mean, just warm it through and eat it just like this, but it's gonna be a little bit chunkier. Yeah, I see a little immersion blender here. Yeah, so if we have, if you have an immersion blender, that's, that's totally great. If you have a regular blender, um, also great. This one's a little less messy transferring, I suppose. Yes, so we are <laughs> gonna go ahead, you have to, it has a safety key, there we go. Okay, so this is all nice and blended up. Okay. And you might wanna warm it just a, a little bit more if you have a little bit more time, if you're not on air. And when you know that it's, it, it's done, it's just whenever it is warm and you can yes. eat it, okay. So you've already cooked the onion, carrot, celery, garlic. And you want that to get really nice and soft too, by the way, because that's uh, your flavor. And then the, the last thing that you might add, if you have it, is just a little bit of nutritional yeast because it's yeah, kind it of like a little Parmesan flavor. My favorite part about it. There we go. And if you want to taste art, that. I do. It's one of the greatest parts. It's simple, it's easy, it's healthy. And this there stores really well, so you could absolutely make a big batch of this and then put it in the refrigerator or freezer. It has, like you were mentioning, the low sodium, but excuse me, it tastes kind of like it would have a lot of sodium in it. It's, it's amazing. Good. And especially putting in that, I guess you kind of like the cheesy Parmesan. That's right. Not, all right. If you want this recipe or any of the other recipes that Chef Val has, you can go to kjrh.com. Thanks for joining us.